Hey everyone, let's review really quickly the four types of problems that we will be having an exam about tomorrow, okay? So, first of all, we have the hydraulic system problem, okay? How will I notice it is one of those? Because they're telling me the word hydraulic, they're telling me the word piston, okay? Now let's analyze, they're giving me 4,000 newtons and two squared meters, and we're searching for the small area, and we have also 200 newtons, okay? So, according to what we've seen before, in a hydraulic system right here, if I choose any point where I want to measure the pressure, I'll find that the pressure is the same. That is why I use pressure equals pressure, okay? Because the big area or the small area, the big force or the small force will use the same formula. So we have capital F, capital A, small f, small a. So we have the area of the small piston, question mark. We have two squared meters, the capital one. Then we have 200 newtons and 4,000 newtons. So it means that we have 4,000 newtons right here and 200 newtons right here. I will decide because this one is greater than this one. Capital F needs to be forcefully greater than small f. So we have F divided by A equals F divided by A. So in this case that we're searching for lowercase a, it means that we are multiplying what's in the diagonal and then divide by what we have left. So we have A equals big area times small force divided by capital force, two squared meters times 200 newtons divided by 4,000 newtons. You will cancel newtons with newtons. You can cancel two zeros with two zeros. So you have four divided by 40 equals 0 0.1 squared meters. Now, the difficult, well, I guess there are a little bit more difficult problems. We have three types of buoyancy force of buoyancy problems, okay? So the first one will be the one of Paire and Pawa, which is this one, problem number two. They're telling you that a piece of metal weights 800 grams on the air and 400 grams on the water. So you have peso en el aire and peso en el agua. Okay, 800 grams and 400 grams. Also, they're telling you that you want to find the volume and that you want to find the peso específico. This peso específico is of the metal, okay? Not of water because the one of water that you should always know is one gram over cubic centimeter, okay? So first of all, if you have peso específico equals empuje divided by volume, we have peso específico of water, and if we find the empuje, then we can get the volume. So let's find the empuje first. The empuje, or thrust, is equal to paire minus pawa. So empuje equals 800 grams minus 400 grams. I have an empuje of 400 grams, okay? So now that I have empuje and have peso específico, I can find volume. How will I find volume? Well, volume I send it to the other side multiplying, then peso específico dividing. And let's remember that here I said the one of water. So volume equals 400 grams divided by one gram over cubic centimeter. So your volume will be equal to 400 cubic centimeters. Okay, so here is your first answer of what I'm looking for. Now I'm searching for peso específico. You would say, well, teacher, let's use peso específico equals empuje divided by volume. 
But what happens is that my empuje is for 100 grams and my volume is for 100 cubic centimeters. So my answer is one gram over cubic centimeters. Yeah, I know that, but here I'm receiving the information of water. So it means I'm not using this, okay? Instead of, I will use the one of peso específico equals paire divided by volume, peso en el aire divided by volume, which will be 800 grams divided by 400 cubic centimeters equals two grams over cubic centimeters. Why this? Why paire and not pagua? Because paire is a real one. Peso en el agua, it's not exactly real because it's lighter underwater, okay? And this is your second answer that we're searching for. Now in the next problem, we have a body immersed in water undergoes a thrust of 20 grams and another liquid a thrust of 30 grams. So they're telling me that we have water and we have a liquid. That we don't know which liquid it is, okay? For both, you need peso específico, empuje, and volume. Peso específico, empuje, and volume. For starters, we already know that water is always one gram over cubic centimeter. Also, you have that under water is 20 grams, and under the liquid is 30 grams. We also know that when we find the volume of one, we'll find the volume of the other one. Okay? So, why this? Let's remember that you have two beakers right here, one filled with water, and the other one with the liquid that we don't know which one it is. And in order to get the volume, if you have this body immersed in the water, you can get the volume. So even though I take this same body to milk, to chocolate, to alcohol, to glycerin, it will be the same. So if it's the same, we can get the volume here. And with that information, we will get the peso specifico of the liquid. So let's start. Volume equals empuje divided by peso específico, and this is of water, so we have 20 grams divided by 1 gram over cubic centimeter. We cancel grams, and we have a volume of 20 cubic centimeters. So we have 20 cubic centimeters. So it means that I have 20 cubic centimeters on the liquid. Now, I have two out of my three variables. Now I can get the information from the liquid. So we have peso específico. In this one, I will not use spider or pagua because I, I do not need it and they're not giving it to me. So we have empuje divided by volume. We have 30 grams divided by 20 cubic centimeters. And your answer is 1.5 grams over cubic centimeters. And this other problem is the easiest one of them. Let me tell you why. They're asking you for the thrust, the empuje, introduced into milk, and you want to find the specific weight with a volume of 50 cubic centimeters. So we're looking for a thrust. We have a peso específico of the milk of 1.04 grams over cubic centimeters and we have a volume of 50 cubic centimeters. So it means that peso specifico equals empuje divided by volume. I will give you the uh, formulas anyway. So you send volume to the other side multiplying and you will have empuje equals peso specifico times volume. We have 1.04 grams over cubic centimeters times 50 cubic centimeters. So this one has no hidden hints, okay? It's as easy as it gets. So we have 1.04 times 15, and it will give you 52 grams. And that's it for today, guys. So if you have any doubts, don't doubt and look for me. Send me an email, an inbox, a WhatsApp, whatever you need. Bye-bye.